Let's look at different types of organizational structure in this video. First we will look into functional organization. In functional organization each employee has one clear superior. Staff members are grouped by specialty, such as production, marketing, engineering, and accounting at the top level. Specialties may be further subdivided into focused functional units, such as mechanical and electrical engineering. Each department in a functional organization will do its project work independently of other departments. As highlighted in the example, the project coordination happens at the level of functional managers. Matrix organizations reflect a blend of functional and projectized characteristics. Matrix organizations can be classified as weak, balanced, or strong, depending on their relative level of power and influence between functional and project managers. Weak matrix organizations maintain many of the characteristics of a functional organization, and the role of the project manager is more of a coordinator or expeditor. A project expeditor works as staff assistant and communications coordinator. The expeditor cannot personally make or enforce decisions. The project coordination happens at the staff level of each functional unit. While the balanced matrix organization recognizes the need for a project manager, it does not provide the project manager with the full authority over the project and project funding. Project coordinators have power to make some decisions, have some authority, and report to a higher level manager. The project coordination happens as highlighted in the example. Strong matrix organizations have many of the characteristics of the projectized organization, and have full-time project managers with considerable authority and full-time project administrative staff. The project coordination happens as highlighted in the example. At the opposite end of the spectrum to the functional organization is the projectized organization, as shown in. Example. In a projectized organization, team members are often co-located. Most of the organization's resources are involved in project work, and project managers have a great deal of independence and authority. Virtual collaboration techniques are often used to accomplish the benefits of co-located teams. Projectized organizations often have organizational units called departments, but they can either report directly to the project manager or provide support services to the various projects. The project coordination happens as highlighted in the exam. In this video, we will look at the grid which explains the influence of organizational structures on projects. Here we have listed each possible organization type and project characteristics. Then for each of this combination, we have defined how the project manager's authority varies. First let's take the project manager's authority. In a pure functional organization, the PM doesn't have any authority and merely works as a coordinator. As we move along from weak matrix to projectized organization, PM's authority increases and is at peak in a projectized organization. Similar to project manager's authority, the resource availability is also increasing from none or low at the functional organization to full-time in the project-based organization. In a functional and weak matrix environment, Functional managers manages the budget whereas in a strong and projectized organization, PM manages the project budget. Similarly the project manager's role is part-time in functional and weak matrix organization but it is full-time in mixed, strong matrix organization and in projectized organization. Thanks for watching this video, and hope it is helpful. If you like this video please hit the like and subscribe for more knowledge sharing videos.